Okay, so today we're going to be making a cheap, easy, and quick laminar flow hood. And a laminar flow hood is a device that blows air through a filter. So you get filtered air coming through this filter here, and then the air is moving horizontally. So any dust that would fall in this path of air that's blowing, there's an air current here, it'll just blow the dust out. And because the air is filtered, no dust is coming through the filter. So you have a fairly dust-free environment here. So without further ado, let's get started. So this is the design. You've got a plastic storage box and on the back of this plastic storage box you basically just cut out a hole and you put a HEPA filter here. And the HEPA filter was taken from this air purifier here, which is a progressive 335 air purifier that I found for free on Facebook Marketplace. And all this in this air purifier is a blower fan that moves air through this vent here. So what you need to do is you need to get air from this vent through the HEPA filter that you took out of the air purifier. Normally the HEPA filter would sit in the front here, but I took it out so I could filter the air coming directly into this storage box and this will be our actual flow hood. So to connect this vent to the HEPA filter, I'm using a plastic tarp and I just cut a rectangle and then taped it into a tube. So that's what this is right here. And then I'm gonna attach each tent, each end of this tube of plastic, one end to this vent and the other end around the HEPA filter. And I'm gonna use this aluminum foil tape to do it. Initially I used duct tape, but I found that over time the duct tape will come undone. It doesn't adhere very well to this plastic tarp. And this tarp is just the plastic tarp that they use to cover floors when people are doing painting. Um, so yeah, that's it. So let's, let me tape it up. So this is the hood taped up. And once you've done the first pass of taping the ends of the cylinder, turn the blower on and make sure you check for air coming out, air leaks. So for example, I had some leaks around here and I just went over it with more tape or even like up top here, there was this section that was leaking air. So I just put some tape over it and I'm gonna put some tape over here. Um, so just be aware of that. Okay, so here's the laminar flow hood all set up. Um, I ran out of the aluminum foil tape, so I still have to tape up a couple spots, but it's good enough right now. And I'm using duct tape here to secure this, but that's just because I don't have the aluminum foil tape, otherwise I would use that. And I've got the fan on maximum speed, and then as a really quick test to see whether or not it's actually blowing air, I've got this Gold Bond powder, and you can just give it a puff and you'll see that it's blowing it right out. So that's it. It's not the best laminar flow hood in the world. I don't even know if you could do cell culture with it. I'm just using it to get rid of dust when I'm spin coating a photoresist onto a silicon wafer. I'm trying to make sure there's as little dust as possible to a reasonable degree. I'm not trying to do cell culture with this. I'm and for my purposes, it works really well. And it's very cheap and very quick to implement. And another thing to note about these flow hoods is that these sides where the HEPA filter is not positioned, these are not really dust free. If you, I don't know if you can see it here. So the stuff will blow out if it goes in front of the HEPA filter, but if it's just in the corners, it doesn't really come out right away. It'll, you can get dust kind of accumulating on these sides. It's not gonna be a lot of dust, but it is 
this is not a dust free zone so anything that you want to be dust free make sure that it's in front of the HEPA filter so this is just using a match and you can see where the flame is blowing and then in the corner it turns bright and then over here it's getting blown out so those corners really are not dust free zones one thing that's pretty amazing about this flow hood is that the strength of the current of air that's actually coming through the filter is surprisingly strong. I mean, I can feel it blowing on me. Um, so it's not bad. There's definitely better videos out there in terms of how to make a even better quality flow hood with better HEPA filters and a really strong blower fan, but this is really not a bad solution. Like, you will get rid of a lot of dust and I don't plan on testing it for cell culture purposes, but if you really wanted to, I suppose you could probably use this for that. Um, certainly you could use it to do something like pour agar in petri dishes. Okay, so that's it. This is the cheap, easy, quick laminar flow hood. I put a little shelf here. I just used the top of the storage container. And it's not the best laminar flow hood in the world, like I said, but It'll get the job done if you just need a reasonably dust-free environment. So I hope this helped you. And if you liked the video, uh, please like and subscribe. And I also have a Patreon page. And any support you can give me will, would really help in terms of um, letting me make more videos like this about DIY lab equipment.